Start off, it was a carryover from Kevin and Dominique, those guys, what they started in the 90s. Um, then Stacy and Mookie was a, kind of the two players left over from that era. Uh, then you add them in to Kimbe and Grant Long and Christian Leitner. Just, a, just a, what the Kimbe and, I mean, what Dominique and Kevin started, we kind of try to carry it on. The 90s, uh, one of the best part of basketball is competitive. And like you said, we were all close, and that's what made it special. And Kevin, I mean, you came in in the, in the mid-80s right. through the late-80s. Just talk about how the NBA was then in comparison to now and where things were when you came in and how hard it was to well, come in. when we came, when I came in the league in 84, my rookie year, I remember coming to the Omni, and there was only 5,000 fans in the, in, the, in the seats. They had to bring the, the fans that were up high down low to sort of get, fill it in, and we had to prove ourselves worthy of having – the support of Atlanta, and we would have ups and downs, but we, they knew that this team works hard. They're committed, and Mike Fratello had us ready. And over the next several years, we got better. We started winning 50 games a year. Now, the army turned to the bird cage. That's what we call it. Mm. You can't come in a bird cage and win. And we, 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 we defended our turf here in, 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 in Atlanta. And um, as we kept going and going, you know, we won the Central Division, and. Um, now the team starts to get bro broken up, and that's when the era of Steve Smith, Grant Long, and I had the opportunity to play with Mookie Blaylock. Yeah. Mookie Blaylock is the best point guard I've ever had the opportunity to play wow. with. People sleep on him, though. Longevity, because this, especially in my prime, you know, I have played with some great point guards like Tony Parker, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, guys like that. But to play with a guy like that, Mookie, who I knew, He's going to get the ball right where I needed to be at mm. every single time. And I watch the old footage of it, man. It's, it's amazing. And um, and Steve coming here, doing what he did. I mean, he was one of the most fierce scorers in the league. He had the most ultimate move that, that I've ever seen that you see now LeBron right. James trying to adopt and take from mm -hmm. because it was unstoppable. Coaches tell us, hey, watch the move. Don't fall for it. And you still get it. <laughs> yeah. You still get it. That's you still put it on. That's how good and how he perfected that move. And so when he when they when they played in that era, they won. I believe they won uh, the Central Division as well. When they right. won all the games, uh, win this coach in history. That was a great team. So we want to try to carry that tradition even today and get to that point where we can get to the Western Conference Finals and win a championship in Atlanta. I, I gotta ask about Fratello, man. You know now he's the czar, the telestrator, and he's all friendly, but. I saw some of those highlights. He was a fiery little guy there, yeah, man. Mike, Mike was a fiery <laughs> little ball, brother ball, man. He had that <laughs> Italian blood in him, man. And, and Mike's just a good guy. He was a good coach for, you know, especially in our era because we're all young, all uh, ready to go, and Mike was perfect. He, he was a rookie coach in my rookie year, so mm. it was a perfect match for us. And then you, obviously, with Lenny here, just talk about Lenny. I mean, people know about a lot of people now don't know about him as a player, how good he was as a player, but – Talk about him as a coach and what he was able to bring. I think special. I think when you start to talk about his his Hall of Fame career as a player, then he became a Hall of Fame coach. And at one point, he was a player coach for Portland and Seattle. This mm. just tells you his basketball IQ, his knowledge of the game, um, second to none, I think, as far as drawing up X's and O's. Uh, and a, a coach that took my game from being a point guard to telling me, now you got to play the two-guard position. Mm. So uh, I thank Lenny for all his wisdom. It's basketball wisdom and, and also the wisdom he gave me off the court. Hmm. And then one last thing, I'll leave you guys on this. Obviously, both Michigan State alums, where do you see your college club going this year? Championship. Just that quick. First, uh, Michigan State alum, Detroit Persian alum, Detroiters. Well, Tom Izzo is the uh, epitome of hard work, and his teams get better and better and better, and they're always there at the end.